we would sometimes overhear our parents say, the, the white people are going to kill him. April 4th, to me, is not a day of celebration. It's a day of mourning. My dad, he told me he went in to work normal day. I was actually on the, the football field. We were watching TV, and it came on the news. It's the first, the earliest memory of me ever witnessing my mother cry. It was so upsetting, the thought that he had been assassinated. My mother specifically recounted just how the air, you know, escaped uh, the room. So it reverberated uh, across the oceans, and in India it was felt as a deep loss of a dear friend. It was a lot of anger, um, and so it was kind of like, what are we going to do now if they're going to kill him, who else? At times, our parents would say, we, we need you guys to stay in the yard today and don't go downtown or those types of things. So you kind of knew what was going on from that perspective. People were just very, very nervous and upset. And so there was some fear, but I think the community decided that they would rather honor his legacy by doing the best we can, doing what we needed to do was right. It was extremely important that the legacy continued and that the work was we knew was undone and it had to be finished. Well, I think that if we ever forget what he was for or what he stood for, what he was driving towards, which was nothing more than he wanted people to be treated equally. I was always taught from a young age to have a dream, to always, always imagine yourself um, farther than what you are currently. I was the first person in my family to go to college, and then my nephew now is the second engineer in the family, so the trajectory of our life has really changed. Being a father, being aware of where we are currently, being concerned about what's to come, for not for me, but for my son, the message of Dr. King has really impacted me in my life to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, having difficult conversations with people. In the times that we live today, it's important that we continue to have the open and spoken dialogue so people are reminded that although we made progress, it can be reversed very quickly. I view the world in two different ways. You're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. I feel like it's my responsibility to continue on with the path that he was on. So where I see something wrong or something that's unjust, I should be willing to speak up, to stand up for what's right. I feel a responsibility, you know, to make sure that I am upholding and when sacrifice is needed, that I'm willing to go that far. Dr. King, if you were alive today, I would tell you First, thank you. Thank you for daring to dream. You were one of those uh, individuals and God sent individuals who, uh, even though you had a very short life, that life is living on forever. I would tell you to keep on. I would love for you to see the progress that we've made. What leadership would you require from us? Thank you for not giving up when people said that this wasn't right, that this wasn't the right time. It was because of you that people like me are able to live life freely and completely.